So did you, uh, did you get to that important meeting you had last week? You know, well, important meeting, you know, the encounter with Christ? <laughs> yeah, did you get to church? Uh-huh. Oh, we're rolling, sorry. Yeah. And action. When it comes to encountering Jesus Christ, getting to know him and to follow him as Christian disciples, it is clear that the heart of evangelization can be found in the parish and in the family. It is in our families and in our parishes that Christian disciples are conceived, formed, and spiritually mature. And that is where we have the best opportunity to learn about love and service, the truths of our faith, who Jesus is, and consequently, who we are called to be, come, that is, missionary disciples. We have also heard it affirmed in the words of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, in his exhortation, Evangelii Gaudium, the joy of the gospel. We heard it in the recent call of his Beatitude Sietoslau, along with the entire Ukrainian Greek Synod of Bishops, who call us to transform our parishes into ones that are vibrant and are places to encounter the living Christ. Our recent Eparchial Sabor also focused on the family and the parish as we looked at ways to renew our Ukrainian Catholic Church as part of Vision 2020. Firstly, we had a meeting in May 2014 with over 150 people, lay and ordained, representing parishes and organizations from throughout the eparchy. Secondly, parishes across the eparchy reflected on six themes from Patriarch Svetoslav's pastoral letter to develop parish pastoral plans. And finally, a comprehensive eparchial survey was launched which included questions about the needs of individuals and families. That survey brought in thoughtful responses from across the eparchy. Nearly 500 of you took part. And with all this input, a draft Sabor document was prepared and the Sabor Part 2 in October took place. The document was discussed and ratified. And the final Sabor document has now been published and distributed. You can find it on our Eparchy website. As a follower of Jesus Christ, I am challenged to live the gospel in my everyday life as a wife and mother, as a citizen, and as a parishioner, but that is not always easy in our world. During the Sabor, we heard about some of the challenges we face in our parishes and families, and together we talked about ways to meet those challenges as a church of missionary disciples, as families evangelizing families. And then, as an eparchy, we have been given a compass for our spiritual and charitable journey that lies ahead. The Sabor sets the general goals, and now we need to set more specific steps to take on this journey, ones that are achievable and, and, and measurable and sustainable. Therefore, in 2015, we will initiate another follow-up event called Sabor in Action. It will provide an opportunity for representatives from across the eparchy to meet again and to plan how best to implement the results in the Sabor document. Through your prayers, and by contributing time, talent, and treasure, we can work together in the spirit of gospel stewardship. We can already recognize from the, the number and the, the scope of the Sabor recommendations that additional resources will be required and, and that fundraising plans need to be developed. Please anticipate hearing then more about the annual Eparchial Appeal in the days ahead, which intends to make your suggestions from your Sabor document a reality. In the meantime, I encourage you to read our support document, to reflect on how our families and our parishes are a place for an encounter with the living Christ. Pray for our church as we proceed with this Sabor's call into action in the spirit of Vision 2020. This process will continue to lead us to personal conversion, communion, and solidarity in our families and parishes, the eparchy wide and beyond. And I pray that families evangelizing families and with the joy of the gospel will become a daily reality for you.